member of the European Parliament and member of its ITRE committee. I would also like to thank the chair of uh, ECON Commission, uh, our colleague Yaroslava Pokorna Germanova, for being with us. The EER Awards honors regions and cities with the most convincing, forward-looking entrepreneurial visions and strategies. So, Ms. Kutajar, you have the floor for three minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. President, members of the Committee of the Regions, award winners and distinguished guests. It's an honor to be with you here today. And uh, it's an honor to be addressing the 156th plenary of the Committee of the Regions, remembering also what the first president of this institution, Jacques Blanc, said in 1994, that a new Europe of the regions can arise to complement the already well-established Europe of state. Having been elected myself at a very young age of 22 in my village's local council of Nadur in Gozo, I realize and appreciate firsthand the importance of not only keeping regions and local communities afloat, but fostering the entrepreneurship necessary to keep them alive and well on the economic but also the social scale. This could not be more relevant than for, for my own island that I come from, Gozo, which itself is an island of the EU's smallest member state, Malta, and as an island facing double insularity, it, draw, it draws its economic fabric from the entrepreneurship of SMEs, which face inherent challenges, but also opportunities if properly assisted. This is a reality shared with other disadvantaged regions, a point highlighted in the European Parliament's report on islands and cohesion policy, which I had the pleasure to work upon in the Committee on Regional Development, and if properly assisted along with our entrepreneurs, we could do and go miles, and therefore that's why these awards are of much importance. Economic dynamism, especially in regions further away from the traditional economic hubs, rely not only on the resilience of firms of all sizes to run their business successfully, but also the drive of regional and local governments to attract, incubate and retain these firms within the regions. Entrepreneurial regions, like those who have won today's award, work with a positive mindset geared not just for survival, but with one that actively seeks to have the region thrive, making the best use of any funds allocated to them. Entrepreneurial regions are indeed creativity regions, which see the knowledge, green and digital economy, not as a mere challenge, but also as an opportunity to double down on commitments and make hay while the sun shines. What should set apart any entrepreneurial region, however, should be the creative and effective management of the fruits of their success. It is essential to remember that no race is won until you cross the finish line. And in this case, the finish line must not only be about economic sustainability, but also about the positive spillover effects on the communities, but also the environmental and social sustainability. These are key principles which I emphasize as negotiator of the European Parliament's SME strategy report. After all, Europe's entrepreneurial regions must recognize how supporting municipal services, especially when it comes in fields like education and upskilling, remains the surest long-term investment for any of our union's regions to prosper and definitely for our companies and self-entrepreneurs also. My warmest congratulations to the winning regions and I look forward for further collaboration with all of you. And may I close my remarks in Maltese, in yes. my mother tongue? Sure. In Harris I am looking forward to collaborate uh, together in our regions and to ensure that we can assist them in the necessary way to reach their fullest potential hand in hand with our entrepreneurs as well. Thank you. Member Yermanova, the floor is yours for two minutes. 
Já děkuji za slovo, pane předsedající. Thank you very much for giving me the floor, Chair. I don't think I am going to need these two minutes. I will try to be brief. Dear colleagues, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for me on behalf of the uh, Commission ECON to attend uh, these award giving ceremony and I'm really happy that one of the awarded regions is a region of my own country, the Czech Republic namely the South Moravian region. Now the presence of people who have received awards for these regions shows that uh, this is a great success and it's a great tribute to national and over national cooperation. And now I would like to send a short message to these regions. This award is going to be a key tool for you at the European level to promote your implement implementation of your entrepreneurial strategies. I thereby congratulate all the uh, regions who have received awards and you can count on us, you can count on support of ECON. Thank you so much. Um... I would now like to invite the four award winners to join us on the podium. Massimiliano Fedriga, Jan Grolisch, Mariusz Sozapas, Witold Kozlowski. While they're taking their seats, let me invite you to watch a video. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the first winner of this year's EER award, Friuli Venezia Giulia region, represented by Mr. Massimiliano Fedriga. The EER award for uh, its commitment to transform its industrial and productive system centered on human progress and well-being. Congratulations, you have the floor for three minutes. Thank you very much indeed. President, and uh, I'd like to thank the Committee of the Regions uh, for uh, really have uh, been uh, part uh, of uh, my uh, candidacy and uh, the, alongside the Italian uh, colleagues so for a number of years. This is the assembly in which uh, it's not just the state being represented, but the interests uh, of Europe itself. So I'd like to begin with this round of thanks, underlining uh, the fact uh, that uh, the Friulia Venezia Giulia region has uh, invested a great deal in the entrepreneurial infrastructure of our region, but also uh, the European context in which uh, our region uh, rests. Uh, we are uh, in an area with the port of Trieste, which is very, very important in terms of uh, uh, trade. We are very sustainable. And, of course, uh, we look uh, to the, the the south of Europe, looks uh, to us as we look north. Now, we have a, an agreement uh, with the Slovenia and Croatia 
for the first uh, hydrogen valley, uh, transnational hydrogen valley in Europe to foster the transition, uh, the energy transition in a sustainable way. But uh, really, this is a sustainability which uh, must be environmental, social, economic, and also technological. We as uh, territories that have a great responsibility to work together between European regions and municipalities so that the productive sectors and technological know-how can be shared and guided by Western uh, democracies uh, can indeed uh, be uh, uh, protected from third countries that are not democratic. Uh, as we look at the uh, Russian aggression in Ukraine, uh, we see that we need to be able to choose uh, our industrial developments, and uh, that is a responsibility to our citizens in terms of well-being. Uh, so today, development of companies and uh, the economy across the territory as part of uh, this uh, uh, unfortunate international situation is not just uh, economic uh, and job opportunities, but also represents a guarantee of freedom, which the European institutions and we as the representatives of our regions must guarantee to our citizens. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Now I give the floor to Jan Grolisch, Governor of South Moravia Region. It's awarded for their efforts to um, develop tailored activities supporting entrepreneurs. You have the floor for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Chairman. Dear guests, uh, dear colleagues, it is a great honor for us. And I think I can say it is no coincidence that we receive this award because this is a long journey which started 20 years ago. It was at the time when the Czech Republic was about to join the European Union. And we were supported also financially to implement all kinds of projects. And our South Moravian region, together with the city of Brno, decided to support innovative companies and innovative projects because we had really very good conditions for that. After all, in Brno, we have three universities and we also established the Brno Innovation Center, which was also important, which was not only important for our region and for our city, but for all the companies working in this region. The Brno Innovation Center gained a great respect and uh, all big players, all big businesses see this as a very important uh, uh, entity in the region and they enjoy cooperating with it. So it is thanks to this that we also develop all kind of strategies for the future and we try to do as much as possible to ensure people living in our region have good jobs, they can have good living conditions and we can improve not only the business environment in the region, in South Moravia, but also the living conditions in general and I believe we've been quite successful in that and I hope we will continue to do so in the future. So. Now we can be proud to say we are the only region uh, to, from the Czech Republic to have been awarded to that, but I hope we are not the last region because I know there are other regions in our country doing a really good job as well. So I hope they can go in our footsteps, they can follow us, and I will be very happy to see their success in the future. So once again, thank you all for for your support. It is a great honor. It is a great uh, motivation for other activities in the future. And I hope that other regions in the Czech Republic and elsewhere who really need this support, both financially and in other ways, will receive it from the European Union. And we will try to do our best to inspire them. So thank you very much for your support. It's really it's a great uh, source of positive energy for our future work. And now it's a great pleasure for me to give the floor to my uh, fellow uh, Portuguese, Mario Sousa Passos from Villanova de Famalicão, a municipality of uh, Famalicão, won the award.
because of its new strategy for promoting entrepreneurship called Famalicão Made In. So, dear President, you have the floor for three minutes. Thank you very much. Allow me to thank you very uh, especially, uh, Mr. Cordeiro. Uh, I know him well and, uh, and also compliment uh, the other uh, members of the committee and the representatives of the European Commission, the European uh, Parliament, my fellow mayors and uh, representatives of European Entrepreneurial Regions 2024. Congratulations to you all for also uh, achieving this award. I'd also, of course, like to greet all the rest of you, ladies and gentlemen. Villa uh, Nova, the family can receive the distinction of entrepreneurial European region 2024, is the best testament to the economic vitality of our territory and recognition of the merit of our public policies, essentially fostering entrepreneurship. This award honours everybody and the municipality feels bound to praise we're the first territory in the northern region of Portugal to be part of the group of European citizens and regions receiving this award. But this uh, pride uh, now, this prize now awarded, is the corollary of decades of work, dedication, and perseverance, and which has involved several key players: entrepreneurs, workers, local authorities, schools, technology, and research centres. This is a great opportunity for us to thank, on behalf of our municipality, all of the uh, uh, economic uh, uh, agents uh, of our council for helping push uh, forward. It's not uh, uh, a coincidence that uh, we are one of the most uh, exporting uh, uh, regions, we're third uh, largest exporter region, and we also uh, contribute a great deal. In fact, we are the second uh, uh, largest, uh, uh, most of the national national trade balance, the second place at national level with a surplus of almost 1 billion euro years. We've always uh, been uh, under the national unemployment averages and we really are helping to create jobs. But no programme, however good it may be, can resist stagnation. The world is evolving and territorial dynamics have to keep up with that reality. However, a territory must be ambitious and constantly evolved to uh, help to meet the needs of our entrepreneurs and the territory. The municipal strategy of made in to created in, the transition from value production to value creation, which we have been developing, is driving the reconfiguration of Famalicão's economic profile and recognises companies that stand out in the areas of sustainability, innovation, social responsibility, and by so doing, they contribute to competitiveness, wealth generation, and the creation of qualified jobs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed to you. Um, it uh, gives me great pleasure to give a special mention to a region for their specific commitment towards Ukraine. The special mention of the ER award goes to Malopolsky region, represented by Marshal Witold Kozlowski. And the reason for the award is its commitment to become a regional hub and center of expertise for Ukrainian businesses and citizens. You have the floor for three minutes. Thank you, President, ladies and gentlemen. It's a huge honor to receive a special award for the uh, Maropolska region. I'd like to thank you on behalf of the authorities of the region and all of its residents. Since 2016, the Maropolska Voivodeship has been included in the elite group of European entrepreneurial regions and in recent years Malpolska has been developing very quickly. Today it's a strong and modern region. The third Krakow Malpolska European Games uh, ended a few days ago and this brought together around 7,000 athletes from all over Europe and they were competing with one another and they will 
I'm sure, uh, uh, lead to future developments. These games involved four, in four, four Polish regions, a total of 15 cities. In 29 disciplines, there were no Russian or Belarusian athletes as pro, in protest uh, against the war in Ukraine, where innocent people are dying. Thanks to the huge help of many countries, many sports federations and associations, athletes from Ukraine who were present and achieved uh, great results were able to prepare for these games. Seventh place in the medals, uh, with a total of 41 medals. They deserve a round of applause. Thank you so much. Wracam, wracam do wyróżnienia. Naszej strategii przyświeca hasło od... Our strategy is guided by this slogan, Responsible Future, which is why we invest in activities to help sustainable development. Thanks to the strong position of our region that's been built up over the years, we have coped very well with the challenges that Europe has had to face. We have reacted to uh, threats straight after the outbreak of the pandemic. In March 2019, we launched an anti-crisis shield and allocated um, huge amounts of money to fight COVID-19 and mitigate the effects of the pandemic on the regional economy. Since February 2022, we have been in solidarity with Ukraine and its citizens who have come to our region in huge numbers. There's also, we have allocated more than 22 million euros to support your Ukrainian citizens in various areas, including education and the labour market. The title of the European Entrepreneurial Region, which was obtained by the Malposka region seven years ago, motivated us a great deal. It's also inspired us and uh, facilitated the exchange of practice and experience. We have a lot of knowledge in implementing and experience in implementing EU funds and finding partners for cooperation. We want to share this knowledge and experience with Ukraine, and we are ready to be a centre of entrepreneurship and ex uh, for Ukrainian business. There aren't many companies with Ukrainian capital operating in Malpolska today. After the outbreak of the war, the number of companies established by Ukrainian citizens has, um, since then, has increased significantly. This is why we want to create the best conditions for these companies. I'd like to thank all regions. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, to conclude our session, we'll have the delivery of the awards uh, right in front of uh, the, the uh, here. And um, after that, we may consider that the session of this uh, uh, meeting is closed. Let me take this opportunity before the uh, go and deliver the awards to thank everybody the General Secretariat, our services staff, uh, your presence here. The a special thank to the interpreters for their generosity with the time and to all of you. And congratulations once more to the winners of EE Award. We all proceed now to deliver of the awards and after that the session is closed. Thank you.